video. I hope you guys gathered that we are working with Boxer Braids today. So I've actually um, already got them in. If you need a tutorial, I'll make sure to leave one in that little information button up there. So um, go click through that. But it's basically just two Dutch braids. Um, and if you need like extensions or longer, you want like longer braids, you can actually use single clip-in extensions and just kind of place them as you go. I am wearing two like one about here and then another one about here and then when you pancake it out you can't even see so that's how people are wearing extensions with boxer braids um anyway i'm just gonna kind of cruise through as many of these ideas as i can so i hope you guys enjoy this video make sure to subscribe below so that you don't miss any future videos and let's get started take one of the braids and line it up right next to the opposite braid kind of right in that seam and then tuck those tails under and secure it with bobby pins then you're just going to repeat on the other side For this one, all you're going to do is combine those two braids together and then take a clear elastic or if you have a really thick hair, take one of your bigger elastics and just do a little messy bun. Spread apart that braid, secure it with bobby pins if you need to and you're done. And this is another easy one. You're just going to braid the right side over the left and then secure them together with a bobby pin. And then just twist the braids together all the way down. You can go ahead and fluff the braids out to make them look a little bit more thick or full. But when you get to the bottom, just tie it off with a clear elastic. This is one of my absolute favorites. You're just gonna lightly grab the inside sections of those two braids and then loosely pull them together and take your bobby pin, make sure it's opened where the two sections meet, and then just push it horizontal inside those braids. Then you're just gonna do that a couple more times or until your braid is combined. And go ahead and fluff and pull on those Dutch braids to make them look more soft and full if you'd like. And you can even secure the sections with a rubber band at the bottom, but I didn't, I just used bobby pins. So there you have it. I like wearing my hair like this to the gym. I just wrap the tails around my finger into a little bun and then I bobby pin it. And I have found that the bobby pins just hold tighter for me, especially when I'm working out, than if I were to just put elastic bands around it. So I just wrap the hairstyle, twist it around my finger, and then secure it with bobby pins. And I like to just kind of make like an X with the bobby pins so that they're hanging on to each other and not just the hairstyle, and that might be why they're so secure. But you can also use elastic bands if you would like. I've been doing this technique a lot lately. You're just gonna tie the hair into a knot so the right side goes over the left, the left side goes under and up, and then you're gonna repeat it twice, and then tuck the tails underneath and secure with bobby pins. Okay, these are starting to get super fuzzy, so I'm gonna take them out and start doing a couple half up ones. This is one of my go-to hairstyles. You're just gonna fold the two braids over each other, so the left side over the right in this case, and then take your bobby pin and just secure the braids together. So the trick here is you don't need to grab that much hair with a bobby pin. It's just the little tiny outer sections that are holding all that hair in place. Also make sure you're using quality bobby pins. Mine are from Sally's Beauty Supply and I love them. Last but not least, you have to have a cute ponytail. So I'm just gonna take a blonde elastic, I think I got this at Target, and then just throw the hair up into a ponytail right underneath the braid, and there you have it. Okay, whoa, well, that was a lot of hairstyles, and now I feel like I'm just cheating. <laughs> I took out those pigtail braids, and now technically it's not boxer braids, so I'm calling it a wrap. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and then you can click this little I button, this little information button right up there, and I'll link you up to my blog post, which will have details on like my shirt and my lipstick and just helpful hints when doing these hairstyles. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you so much, and we'll see you next week for a new tutorial. Bye!